All right, well, it's a little dark yet, but I am officially on the road for Utah. Leaving the farm now, it is 5.57. I wanted to be on the road by six, so got out of here on time. Just threw it in the GPS. Uh, if I drove straight through, 1,700 miles, that's kind of the area we'll be hunting in that general uh, vicinity of the state. We have 24 hours to go. Definitely not gonna make it all the way there today, but I'm gonna knock a good chunk out of it. Dylan's leaving tomorrow morning early, so I'm gonna get there about Tuesday evening. He should be there Wednesday afternoon because he's a madman, drives like crazy. But today, a lot of driving. Hopefully make it out past Iowa, start seeing a little bit of the west. We'll see. And, uh, it's gonna be a grind, so stay tuned. The western trip 2022 underway. Stay tuned. Well, there's the Iowa 80 truck stop, the uh, so-called largest truck stop in America. So make a good time. It's almost one o'clock. Probably be in Des Moines. Hour, so I'll be there by 4, 3.30. Yeah, make a great time. Thought I was only going to make it to Des Moines today, but I'll be able to make it much further than that. Keep on chugging. Dylan leaves tomorrow. The weather's beautiful for traveling. Find me a hotel probably somewhere in Nebraska. Maybe on the edge of Iowa, Nebraska tonight. Day one of the trip. Going well thus far. No problem. Stay tuned. Rain, rain, rain. Rain has started. Well, we made it through Des Moines. So, everything else from today is bonus. Bonus hours of traveling. That's as far as I wanted to make it today, but it's still early, it's only three o'clock. So I'm gonna keep on chugging along, see how far I can get. I have 14 hours to Salt Lake, about a thousand miles. So I'm definitely gonna try to maybe, maybe cut that in half, we'll see. I'll keep you updated on where I stop tonight. This rain though sucks, I hate, I hate traveling in the rain. It makes everything hard to see, all the crazy drivers out here. But day one, no good scenic overlooks, no good anything, just cornfields and rain now, so. All right, day two of travel. Get people looking at me like I'm crazy right now because I'm sitting in a truck by myself talking to a camera, but wouldn't be a trip to Nebraska without Casey's General Store, breakfast pizza, pretty much what we did every day last year, me and Dylan. But I got eight and a half hours to go until I'm in the unit. Probably another two hours from there until I'm somewhere where I can hunt. I am planning on climbing up the mountain and doing some glassing tonight. Got a spot that I found on the maps doing some research that I really want to check out. So I'm gonna check out to see if there's water there and maybe do some glassing from there tonight. Camp back on the mountain tonight. And then meet up with Dylan tomorrow. He should be here tomorrow around lunchtime. So we'll see. He's about, eh, about 16, 18 hours behind me right now. So he'll probably stop tonight and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Lots of traveling today. That's pretty much it. I'll catch you back in Wyoming. I'm still on my way. I was gonna take some video of the terrain here in Nebraska, grassland. Everybody that's watched my videos has seen it before, but it just got insanely foggy. I can't believe it. literally only see like maybe a hundred yards. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, it must have rained or some sort of weather craziness because I literally can see a hundred yards. It's crazy. But continuing on, trying to stay alive out here. Here on travel day two, still headed west. We got about two hours till I'm in my unit. Then probably another hour or two till I get where I want to go this afternoon. I'm gonna stop and get lunch and then I'm hitting the mountain. So this afternoon I'm gonna hike up to this spot that I have marked. Let's see, I'm just gonna lay out a land I guess. Maybe see some deer this evening, that'd be cool, but just gonna try to see what the uh, what the mountains look like, what I'm working with over the next three days of scouting before the season starts. So I'm getting excited, I'm getting close. Uh, the terrain is something to behold. I can see the Colorado mountains to my left, way over there, but it's mostly just desert here. Desert and semis. 
sagebrush, semis, and cattle fences. That's pretty much the update now. I uh, should get a lot more scenic here in about an hour or two. We'll see. Or maybe it's just going to stay desert the whole time. I don't know. Definitely never been even near where I am now and nowhere near where I'm hunting. So it's going to be a new experience, but I'm excited. And yeah, I'll see you on the mountain unless I see something exciting before then. It looks like there's a lot of sage, like which I don't like. The southern part of that range looks like there's a lot of sage. I kind of think I want to see the northern woods you can see, unless they're like super small bushes and super small pine trees that you can actually see into, then it'll be different, but. Well, I'm in the unit. I'm already running into access issues. So I was on, I was hoping these access trails to the National Forest land that go through private land were gonna be open. National Forest website they're showing its roads but I get out here and they're all blocked off with no trespassing signs they're the CWMU or whatever the private uh, hunting unit people are all have them blocked off so now I'm driving up a really sketchy BLM road to try to get into where I want to go definitely gonna be a couple miles from there but it's at least get me into the mountain range Kind of uh, not the area I wanted to be in, but first day in the unit, see what I can make happen. This road is really crappy. But I'm still optimistic. Not gonna let this ruin the first day. It's just a little bit of a hurdle. So I'll keep you updated. I'm going up some mountain somewhere tonight. So whether it's the ones I wanna be or different ones, I'm gonna make it happen. Stay tuned. All right, I'm headed in. It's Tuesday, I'm going in for a little overnighter. I'm gonna scout this one spot I have marked. I'm already running into some access issues, but this one, access is good. It's just gonna be kind of a long hike until I get up to the mountains. Hoping to see some deer tonight, that's pretty much the plan. It's windy, it's hot. First day in Utah, let's do it. See you later, truck. Let's go. Well, I'm not going to say things look promising, but they could look worse. Walking in here, I'm about, I don't know, a mile and a half in, and I spooked the doe right up out of these, this bottom here that I'm walking through. I got about half a mile to go, and I'm going to get to my glassing point I have marked. And then probably just glass these hills for the evening. Hopefully pick something out. I don't know. These hills don't look exactly stockable from this location though. So I might have to go up and around. But I like it. It doesn't look like there's too much pressure. Old four wheeler trail on the National Forest. So I don't think you're allowed to use it, but it's here. Yeah, so stay tuned. All right, well, I think I found my home for the evening. About two miles back here. Looks like a decent spot to glass. Pretty much about what I was expecting. There's definitely no water here, I don't think. But there's some areas I can glass tonight. First night in the unit, season doesn't start for four days. Access was kind of messed up today, so I didn't really get to go where I wanted. But I did have this spot marked. Just had a cow elk barking at me for five minutes. I don't know what she was barking about. Maybe there's a calf somewhere, but she was just barking and finally ran up over the hill. Her bark was like echoing through this whole canyon. But it's a pretty good looking canyon. There's lots of places to glass. So I saw a doe on the way in too. Not too far off from where I parked my truck. So there's deer here, it's promising. Stay tuned for uh, any video tonight. I don't have my phone scope yet. I forgot that at home, so Dylan's bringing it. So if I see something far away, I'm not gonna be able to get good video, but hopefully I do. We'll see, stay tuned. Real sunny, real sunny. Okay, I got camp all set up. Ready to start glassing for the evening, it's 7.30. So I got a good, I don't know, hour and a half to glass. Tents all set, pretty cool view. So I'm gonna drop down into some shade, find a spot to sit and hopefully uh, glass up some deer. I got a whole bunch of area to look at. Right there, there, all 
this in front of me. All this up here, all that up there. So I got a bunch of glass. So cover that for the evening. Day one of scouting. Let's go. All right, well, not much luck glassing on the first day here, but it is an absolutely beautiful night. Beautiful camping spot. Couldn't really ask for more unless I saw a bunch of bucks up here on the mountain, but kind of to be expected. First day in the unit. Excess problem sucked, but I got back here. There's a spot I want to check deeper in tomorrow. Kind of around this knob. So I'm going to check that out in the morning. I'm going to glass for, you know, half hour, hour in the morning. Hike in over there, check it out, and then go meet Dylan. He should be here about noon tomorrow. But this camp spot is phenomenal. The view is phenomenal. The weather is phenomenal. And just look at this. Here's a tent. Look at that view. It's unbelievable. Utah is not disappointing so far. So stay tuned. I'll catch you in the morning. I'm going to eat something and I'll see you in the morning. Well, the sun's coming up on the uh, day two of scouting. It's finally getting light enough for me to see. Say here last night, didn't see anything, but I'm hoping to glass something up this morning. I'm going to give it about an hour or two. Then I'm going to make my way around deeper into the drainage to check this last area out before I pull out of here. I'm going to call the Forest Service this morning and see what's going on with this access that I thought I would have, but it's posted up. So hopefully that pans out. If not, we're going to kind of have to go to a totally new area because there's no access on this side. So stay tuned. Hopefully I see something. I'm meeting up with Dylan around lunchtime today. So there'll be two of us in the next couple videos. All right, stay tuned. All right, I've come up with my plan for the day. I saw about 20 head of elk over here coming down right from where I saw that one yesterday. So they're coming down to where I want to go. So I'm thinking it's going to either be water up and over or down to where they're going. And water's king out here. There's no water in this basin that I can see. So I'm going that way. And hopefully I can uh, find out either where they were drinking from or where they're going. I didn't see any bulls, it just looked like about 20 cows and calves. So maybe I'll get eyes on them again. I'm just gonna kind of creep up over this, down and around. Let's go. All right, I made it up to the top of my little uh, basin. Flipped over the other side to glass this whole big area. It's real deserty, doesn't look like there's much trees, but I spotted a doe way down there, probably a mile away. Uh, definitely wouldn't be gettable but from here, but it's a good sign. Saw a doe in the first five minutes of glassing. I'm going to glass up here for the morning. Drop back down, meet down. Hopefully maybe see some bucks. I'm going to check out where those elk went on the way down to see if there's water down there. There's got to be. There's a bunch of trees. Elk were headed down there. A whole bunch of elk sign. I couldn't believe how much elk sign there is. But stay tuned. Fortunately, I don't have my phone scope yet, so I can't videotape these deer super far away. But if I see some bucks, I'll try to do the best I can. All right, well, we got our first buck. <clears throat> it's about where I expected the bucks would be up super high. Is it right? Right there. Up pretty high. He's like a 2 by 3 2 by 2 ish not a shooter in my books, but it's actually in a good spot. And if you bet it down there, you'd be able to get a pretty easy stalk in on it, I think. So hopefully that trend continues. We find some shooters in that area and put some stalks on in a few days. But already better than Nebraska. That's where I can hear the water. So there's definitely water in there. I'm going to kind of follow it up, see where it goes, see if there's, see if it opens up into anything uh, possibly huntable. But I'm glad I got that hike done in the morning because it is getting hot already. Probably going to be in the 90s today. Most of our hunting is going to take place in the morning, it looks like. We'll have to lay low during the day. Okay. 
There's water in the desert. I'm gonna try to follow this up to see where it goes. It looks like it just goes into the cliffs, but it's a pretty good stream. Maybe I'll follow it down to see where it uh, ends up as well, but good sign, good sign. Well, it appears to be about as far as I go. I'm gonna drop down and check it out, but check this out. That creek goes between some crazy rocks. Now my map shows it kind of flattening out on the other side of these rocks, so I might give it just a little check out, but definitely not climbing those bad boys. We'll see, maybe there's a Garden of Eden behind there. Well, this is as far as I go, as far as anybody goes in this canyon, but it's pretty dang cool. I feel like I'm gonna get eaten by a mountain lion down here, so I'm gonna go ahead and skedaddle real quick. But I'm gonna follow the water down and see where it goes. Up to the dead end. Well, a little update time. Found a new spot. It's actually not that far from where I was this morning, last night, but it's gonna kinda give me a different vantage. So I'm gonna climb up there, see if I can get over the top, and if not, I'll make my way all the way over here and glass all the stuff on the other side. I got my food and water for a day. Matt's coming in tomorrow. Hopefully I can find some shooters tonight, some mark that we can chase on Saturday. But here we go, it's hot, it's sunny. There's cows, but it's gonna be okay. All right, well, about 6.30, day two. The sun has been baking me today. Just took a little nap. But uh, I'm gonna get to glassing now. I'm kind of up in a really high glassing point where I can see a lot of areas, so hopefully I see something moving tonight. I was hoping to get on this backside, but it's just, it's just way too steep. There's no way down there, so maybe I'll creep over there a little bit to look, but even if I see something down there, there's no way to get to them. But, Here's my uh, precariously set up tent. Not much room up here, so doing what I can, but it'll work tonight. I don't think there's supposed to be any rain, so I'm just gonna keep the rain cover off. Hopefully get some more airflow. It's hot, like really hot. But stay tuned. Hopefully see some deer this evening. Well, finishing off the night. Only thing I glassed up tonight was a whole bunch more cow elk and a group of about five does way down in one of the, uh, kind of like one of the basins. More hope for tomorrow morning. I sit here, glass in the morning, head down and meet up with Dylan and pick up Matt from the airport and we're going to start hunting in two days. So hopefully we can find him soon. Right now this is a freaking awesome place way up on top of the world don't know if i'm gonna climb up here again or not but it's been pretty cool so check this out it's a heck of a place right now i'm just eating some dinner peak refuel coconut curry pretty much my favorite one so fitting into a sweet day all right stay tuned for tomorrow all right well it's next morning a uh, kind of rough night last night super windy up here but I did get some sleep nothing so far this morning besides a whole bunch of elk again I keep glassing for another hour or two then head into town and pick up Matt but not sure if I'll make it back up here or not unless I see something in the next hour. It's a real cool spot though. There's There's gotta be something hiding down there. It's just real hard to see. There's a lot of ground to cover by myself, but real awesome views. Weather's perfect right now. Stay tuned. All right, well, after an uneventful morning, caps all packed up. On my back, 
headed back down this uh, super steep. Gotta go down to there, and then down to there, and then to get to my truck. It'll be pretty steep. I'll do some glassing along the way, but uneventful. Meeting up with Mil Dylan and Matt. Probably get some lunch, look at some maps, and uh, see you back on the mountain. All right, update time. We got Spaniel from the airport. We delivered Cassock's goods to Nate's house. Uh, tonight we're going in, we got some local info. Shout out, thanks Nate Lewis. Uh, to an area hopefully where there's some deer. Also could be a little bit of a crowded area, but we're going in, hoping for the best. We're just gonna pack for a day or so, do an overnighter. We see what we like, we're either gonna bail out find some other uh, some other spots with deer or we're gonna kind of just go to another basin and look for more deer but hopefully we find what we're looking for season starts two days it's currently Thursday season starts Saturday then we have about six days to hunt after the season starts so wish us luck and uh, we'll see you on the mountain your pack way 43 and we're not even hunting yet <laughs> yeah our packs are heavy for one day scouting mission it's all water we got no. five liters of water each of us has five liters of water and food for a day math is even heavier so i'm a boss because he's a boss i'm gonna die 20 feet in yeah we're all gonna die but our main area we wanted to go to washed out people no people back here so we're going up and we're going in and this little guy, that little guy right there, he's gonna drag me up the mountain. I'm gonna die. Way down. <laughs> I'm not ready. You ready? No. Ready? <laughs> Spaniel's first time in the back country. I'm not. Dylan, well, kind of Dylan's first time in the back country too. Back country hunting, This Sally's leading the way, apparently. I'm only gonna make it to the top of this little hill. All right, take five. <clears throat> Smile. This is the last time you're going to be cool. Last time you're going to have water. Last time you're going to be in a creek bed. We got to find a way out of here. Yeah, because I'm going to die. That's why I'm not going to have anything. And he spotted some does when we're only halfway up the mountain, so that's good. They're actually sitting right where uh, we want a glass from tonight. So it's a real good sign. I don't have my regular video camera to film them, but as soon as we get set up, I'll get a phone scope out and start videotaping some stuff. Those guys down there. <laughs> well, we made it up here to uh, Cow Mountain, that's what we're going to call it. And we've seen eight deer in a matter of five minutes, and we already got a shooter, big narrow four by four. We're taking phone scope video of them right now. But someone's getting excited over there. He is nice. Oh yeah. It is on like Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, dude. dude he's, he's, a, he's like a narrow, but he's got stud. high forks. He's a stud. I'm Holy shit. I'm shooting him all day. Yes. Finally, dude. Finally. Now we gotta figure out how to kill him before 400 other assholes see him. Well, we made it up here to uh, Cow Mountain, that's what we're going to call it, and we've seen eight deer in a matter of five minutes, and we already got a shooter, big narrow 4x4, four four. taking phone scope video of him right now, but someone's getting excited over there. It is on like Donkey Kong. 
That's what. Okay. They're at the, like in just, front of the bird tree? No, they're on the back side behind of the bird tree. tree. But you got to just follow them up and try we and find the body. Finding the deer. They are high and very far away, but we have three shooters. All bats are up right now. A huge frame 3x3 three three just came out. They're probably what you'd say, 95, 10,000 feet? Yeah, easily. We're at what, 85 right now? We're at 82. 82. Whether they're killable, don't know. Might be an all-day endeavor, but shooters. Oh, man. Dude, you know what? We'll that is really... a three-pointer. Holy moly. Got the spotting scope game out right now. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. We're just sitting here in the crazy wind, thinking that the rain's going to start, so we hastily set up our tents in these pines here. And a absolute giant elk came out. Huge, world class. I don't know much about elk, but I don't think I've ever seen someone on a TV show shoot one this big. <laughs> Huge. Videotaping him right now. I think he's got nine on the one side. Yeah, he's got a kicker. Yeah, dude. He's a giant. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. He's got kickers up. He is a fucking giant. Holy double fuck. kickers. It's a 400 inch elk. He's pushing it. That is a 400 inch elk. Oh my. <laughs> it's not even. God. Dude, that is a giant fucking bull. Oh my god. Look how close that is, too. Look at the flyers. Oh. I told you he's like a non typical. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Oh, what if you see that in Idaho? I'm not. <laughs> oh I don't know how many god. he's got on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine? Does he have nine on that side? Oh my god, is he a fucking giant? That is a world class. I mean, an absolute seen someone on a TV show <laughs> this big. <laughs> Huge. Videotaping him right now. I think he's got nine on the one side. Um, oh Look at that, dude. That is a fucking giant. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Alright, let's go home. Holy mother. That elk is huge. All right, we got to get back to mule deer. <laughs> nope. I wish the big mule deer we were seeing were right there because that's right in front of us. The big mule deer we we're seeing are uh, a couple more miles away. Is it raining out in front of us here? Yeah. Just foggy. Oh, rain. That's our group. They're one hillside closer. Yeah. I, I think that's the, the big group that went up. It was like seven bucks. They need to clear that brush so I can see them better. He's got forks. No, I'm saying, oh, he does split it. Right. Got some fighting over to the right. Big ones? Follow that tree line to the right and come start coming down. In between the next brush, the big 
both of those four points are item. fucking huge. Those two are going to add. The one on the left looks like he may have some kickers. The one on the left is fucking weak, dude. That's the biggest gear that we've seen so far. Other one in that group's a big three point too. So up to the right of that big one. It happens. I mean, and do you think that that's the same three point? I think so. Well, either way, there are the four points aren't with them. No, there's a three. There's a group of threes and a group of fours. Yeah, but I'm saying those four points from yesterday are not in that group. Oh yeah, the narrow fours. Yeah, that's why. I, but that that three point yesterday, his frame was wider, and he wasn't as. All right, last light is coming down on the wire, but it got so windy all of a sudden. All of a sudden we found another group of bucks. Look, they look a little bit smaller, but it looks like there's some four by some shooters. I'm trying to take video, but it's so shaky because it's so windy. We'll keep watching them. Where are they going? They're going into rocks. See that little rock V? Oh, they're in that bottom. Yeah. I thought they were in the other one. Yeah, that's a completely different group. Those are all bucks. All those gray bodies are bucks. All right, since we've moved locales, Things have worked out pretty much as best as we can imagine. Right now I'm taking a little walk, looking for water. There's cattle up here, so there's gotta be water, I would assume. And if there's water, we're, uh, we're going full in, camping up here, and maybe even higher. All those deer we're seeing, way super high. So we're either gonna camp here, hike up to hunt every day, or if we can find water up, we're gonna camp up higher and see if uh, there's another place to camp up there with water. But we haven't seen anybody else yet in here. So that's a good sign. Season starts tomorrow. Still have to go back to the trucks to get food and bows. But things are looking yeah. Stay tuned. Just right there. All right, we got a little bit of a break in the wind, not much. As I say that, it gets windier. But we're headed down. Both food, water, no water up high. Didn't find any. So we're gonna have to uh, carry up all the water we're gonna drink. It's gonna suck. But we did talk to a local on the way up. That was kind of cool. He is taking water over to the backside for the muzzleloader hunt next month. And he said it's not very busy in here. We might run into some horses on the horse trail, but maybe not. So should have this to yourself potentially. It's all in our hands. It's pretty much just gonna depend on how tough we are, how long we can hunt. Walking down to get water all the time. But hunting starts tomorrow. Big bucks die tomorrow. You're saying three liters a day? Give or take. If I pack up six liters and an algae and the other one. I'm gonna be good for three or four days. Take as much water as I can fit. Bring a jug up. <sighs> Alright, we gotta get I gotta mentally and physically prepared. We're going back up the mountain with a lot of water, a lot of food, bows, all our hunting stuff. Dylan's having trouble. I'm trying to set this up so I don't gotta bend over to pick it up. Our packs are about 50 pounds, but we're going up for four or five, maybe six days, depending on the water situation. And we're coming back down with deer. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Dylan's not gonna make it up there, no oh, way. No. That fucker's heavy. <coughs> oh boy. Don't feel bad though. Let's do it. When it's, once it's on your back, it don't feel bad. We spend all day trying to get water and it starts raining on us as soon as we hike back up. This is some shit in the desert, in the heat, in the rain, on the mountain. The good news is all our stuff's going to be wet for the next two days. It's going to make me laugh. 
bad news is, more people pulled into the trailhead. Other good news is, I don't know. I mean, it's lower than us. Oh, home sweet home. We made it. Well, I made it. Everybody else is coming. Found our water. Three or four days. Food. Five or six. It's supposed to rain tonight, so we may try to collect some water, but season starts in the morning. Got our deer picked out. Not really, but hopefully there's some deer up there. I'm gonna wake up early, hike up. <sighs> Try to get on them. It's about a, I don't know, another 2,000 foot climb, 1,800 foot climb to the peaks. Some of those deer are about midway up though. We're gonna explore a little bit tonight, do some more glassing. Hopefully stay out of the storm, we'll see. And uh, go from there. So hopefully what's next is some uh, glassing footage. We'll catch you then. All right, evening update Friday, day before the hunt. We have devised a plan. It involves climbing this here mountain behind me in the dark-ish. We're gonna get up there, find a good vantage point to glass, see if some of these deer are bedded up. We've seen all the deer up there. Let's see if we can bed them up and go for some stalks. We have like three good basins to look down into and the one further off. We definitely won't be spooking anything there. Are you gonna be spending all day up there? Yeah, we're gonna spend all day. Come back down here tomorrow night. Be nice to camp up there, but it is something. We would die. All right, off to glassing tonight. Back at camp. We would die. Isaac, smile and wave. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Kill bucks. Kill big bucks. Killing spikes. <laughs> a couple. I hope. Hope we see some. It's starting to get light out. Yeah. I like a special ops team with all this red. Yeah, special ops, my ass. It's 4 30, climbing up the mountain. Oh, well, we're at the base of the mountain. Pretty sure we passed those other dudes' tent. I think that's what that was. Yeah. No movement. <laughs> Unless they're already up here. Doubt it. Master plan did not work. We climbed up this spine halfway up the mountain, quarter way up the mountain, and there's a storm coming in. So we got to bail back to the tents and hopefully not die because we saw what a little windstorm could do, and this is a thunderstorm, so. We're going to try not to die on opening day. We found out the way we can't go up to the top. But it's pretty cool up here. Dylan's ready to go home. Huh? I said Dylan's ready to go home. No, I want to go to the fucking mountain, but Isaac's saying we should go back to the tents. Better safe than sorry. Matt died two days ago. Still, he's with us in memory. Here, we're going out for our first actual hunt. It's the afternoon, day one, all the rain cleared. It poured earlier, absolutely poured. But now it's, I don't know, two o'clock. We're going to check this area we found above this water. There's deer out where we were glassing already past couple days but we're gonna go after them tomorrow we're gonna check out some other basins tonight finally got our bows on our backs and our hands Dylan's gonna shoot his first three by three C's no not at all sorry
the wild spaniel, glassing, glassing side by side. We found our way to a new locale. We've seen a bunch of deer, We've seen some does, We've seen a couple of does or a couple of bucks while we were creeping in. One was real small, the other one jumped up, and we couldn't tell what it was. We're kind of just creeping around, checking out some new basins. Probably go back to our basin tonight and glass all that because we're going up in the morning or trying to go up in the morning again. But we have to we have to stop every 20 minutes for Dylan to snack. You gotta stay hydrated with food, dude. <laughs> I've eaten 12 packs of Oreos today. <laughs> but we're doing it. We're really doing it. I didn't see it. We're in a crazy burn. Making our way back to camp. Matt got a stock in, so that was cool. Dylan just ate shit, so he's getting his trekking pole out. He's uh, relatively unscathed, it appears. Might have bent his tripod. Lay it right on that thing. <laughs> but, bomb it back to camp. Bombing off the mountain, bro. I hate when people say that. He ain't bombing nowhere in this fucking country. <laughs> We're trying right not now. to slip and die on this muddy fucking mess. Day one of hunting recap uh, started off crappy. We hiked all the way up in the dark and kind of got cut off by a rock ledge, kind of like a basin that we couldn't get into. And we saw that a storm was coming in. Rained all mid morning, afternoon. And this afternoon, we decided to go around the ridge to a new area. And we actually, we're probably about two miles from camp, I guess, and probably, I don't know, three, four hundred foot more elevation. Matt got a stalk on some bucks. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but we got a little bit of video of that. Dylan got a little bit of phone scope. It's okay, so we'll show that. I probably already did show that. But tomorrow's a new day. Me and Dylan going up there where we've been seeing all those bucks. And, uh, these guys that are camping next to us will probably be moved out of here tomorrow sometime. We don't think anybody's been going to the top. So I think the deer are kind of staying a little bit more put up in the high burns. We've been seeing little bucks and does ever since yesterday. But we saw those big bucks on the first day we were here. Get some sleep. Be up early. We'll see you then. Five in the morning. We're pretty dumb. We've made it 100 yards from camp. No, we're a good 200. <laughs> plan is not working. We've been sitting here all day long. The thermals and wind keep changing. First they were going up, which was good for us, until a bunch of does popped out above us. Let's put them off. Now they're going down to the does that were down there. And now all of a sudden they're going that way up to our 
Mark's telling to where deer are down there. So needless to say, we got, I don't know, 25 minutes, half hour up here. And it's not looking good. There's a death hike up here. It's going to be a death hike back down. See something? See something? Hmm. Alright. Unless something else happens, we'll see you back at camp. We're gonna make some dinner in the dark and go to bed. Well, can't see anything, but <laughs> really can't see anything. Made it down the mountain. Oh. About to have some uh, mountain houses. Thai curry for me, or no, yellow curry for me. Beef stroganoff for Dylan. I'm putting some salmon in mine. So that's what we're doing. I know you can't see me because of the light, but today, was something. We got a plan for the future though. Matt's still dying. I think it thinks he's not he thinks the food's not agreeing with him. Or he had some bad water or something. I don't know, but we'll keep an eye on him. He's a tough little guy. Well it's just a whole bunch of man meat over there. <laughs> a whole bunch of man meat. You don't like that Chester? Alright, catch us back in the morning. Alright. Morning of day. Three, yes, Monday. Took a little bit of an R&R &R this morning. Slept in, did some glassing, didn't see much. So we think this basin is done, uh, cleared out. So this afternoon we're gonna go to the other basin where Matt had that encounter with the deer Saturday. We go check those out, see if we can get on some more deer. We're all starting to get pretty low on supplies, so tomorrow we're going back to the trucks. Going to devise a new plan, maybe go to a new area. That's if tonight doesn't play out. we got a couple more days of hunting. That's what we're doing. For right now we're just uh, chilling until it uh, gets on the backside at noon. And we'll start heading over there. we got to find some water. Hike down and get some water. Matt's eating chips ahoy. Dylan's snacking. Imagine that. I am not snacking. <laughs> And that's it. Anything up there is pretty much impossible to get to because miles away and thousands and thousands of foot elevation gain, but hoping something comes out below me here. I did have a doe earlier, so who knows what might come up pretty low right now, but never know what could happen. Well, 
unfortunately, I didn't get to film any of that stock or anything. I saw this buck way up behind me. He was walking up the ridge. There was a bunch of little bucks with him, like spikes. So I just decided to drop everything. I'm just going to go after him. I made it into this ditch. Couldn't film anything. The GoPro's down there somewhere, but I was using it as a stick. <sighs> Popped up over this ridge. It looks like a just a big fork, but 74 yard shot, and I, I smoked him. I, it might have been a little bit back, but I saw my binoculars blood just pouring out of him. That was about 15 minutes ago. I came up here just to see my arrow. It's getting dark, middle of nowhere. And he's dead right there. He went 40 yards. So I'm gonna go check him out. Yes. I am so pumped. It's definitely not very big. Just looks like a big, big velvet fork. Oh my gosh. Yep, he's dead. Holy moly. Definitely not the biggest deer. But look at those forks. Oh my gosh. Sorry I couldn't get it on film, but this hunt has been so tough I had to get this opportunity. Oh my gosh. Now I got a cameraman for man doing. Still got four days to go. This is gonna be some work. He's dead. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna try to get some pictures. Call Dylan. Well, racing the sunset here. Dylan and Matt said they were on bucks. I got mine gutted. But I should, I should at least get it quartered and hung tonight. It's gonna be in the 40s. But he's about 200 yards up this draw. Get to him, hopefully get some pictures before dark. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long night. All right, I know it's getting dark, but there he is. Big Fork, Utah, public land, general deer tag, archery. Heck of an accomplishment. Fortunately, I didn't get the shot on film, but I'm still happy as heck with it. It's a 74 yard shot. Hit him a little bit back, but he didn't go, but I don't know, about 50 yards and I saw him crash. So I can't be happier. Uh, work is about to start though, holy moly. Dylan and Matt look like they're uh, gonna help me out. I thought maybe they were gonna go back to camp, but it is cool tonight, so I'm not sure if we're gonna pack it all out or hang it up. But we should get it back to camp, I'm sure. Probably be there by 10 o'clock. I'm pumped, sorry it's dark, but Velvet, Utah, public land buck. First time hunting in Utah and first time going after these uh, mountain muleys, pumped as can be. All right, now the work begins. All right, there she blows. There's the pack, it's gonna be heavy. Dylan's got the rest of it on him. Real heavy. He's pretty heavy. Matt's just thankful to be alive. <laughs> but we're gonna load this stuff up, get the heck out of here. Mountain lion watching us. Mountain lion watching us, <laughs> Matt saw his eyes. <laughs> so that's it, that's the day. Tomorrow, to town.
Panda Express. Dylan wants Panda Express. <laughs> now we gotta go down this hell hole. <sighs> Someone's just going for it. All right, we made it back to camp, finally. It's a heck of a pack up. But we're gonna start us a little fire, have some backstrap for us. That's gonna be us checking out for tonight though. We are tired, we're hot, and that was a lot of work. But get back to you in the morning. We're gonna enjoy some backstrap. All right, packs are made, they're heavy. We're headed down to the truck. They are really, really heavy. Matt's dying over there. You can see him. There's mine. The deer. Dylan. Dylan's got a quarter and a leg. Matt's got a leg and back straps. I got a quarter and the horns. Let's do this. It's going to suck, but mostly downhill. Pretty much all downhill, I'd say, except for the last little creek bottom. We would be dead without these trekking poles. We are almost back to camp. Packs are heavy. Matt's lagging behind a little bit. But he's going at his own pace, making sure he doesn't die. Dylan's right there. Dylan's probably got the heaviest pack. He's got an extra leg. Two legs and a pack. Yeah, yeah, Dylan's got the heaviest pack. I brought this whole cape down, but I'm about to skull cap him, so that doesn't really matter. I guess I could have left it up there. But we're almost to the trucks. Oh, trucks are still here. Thank Jesus. Oh, we freaking made it. God, is it terrible. Trucks are still here. Looks like all the windows and tires are intact, so that's good. We're gonna get this deer to a processor. Start working on this velvet. And uh, catch you guys back on the mountain this afternoon. All right, update been about a, a day, day and a half since we've done any kind of update, but today, it is Wednesday, so it's day five of the hunt. We didn't hunt much yesterday, we were taking care of my deer the whole day, and to take it to the processor, well first we had to pack it off the mountain, then take it to the processor. Uh, stayed in town last night, got everything recharged, cleaned up, we were pretty, uh, pretty haggard after being on the mountain for five straight days. In my case, seven straight days with those days of scouting. But we're going in with a new plan. We're going to be kind of in that same area I killed my buck. I have a full-time cameraman with me, so it'll be, make things a lot easier to film. We have our plan. We're sticking to it. We're going to camp near water, hike up, hunt, hunt the evenings. Kind of still hunt the evenings, almost like whitetail. We're not going to be doing much far away glassing and stalking. It's going to be kind of more, uh, more intimate. We're going to be with the deer and maybe have to stalk over like one ridge line or two ridge lines to get to them, but it's not gonna be any of the glass and deer from miles away and then trying to get on them. So we're excited. Matt and Dylan have tags, two and a half days to hunt. We're gonna make something happen. See you on the mountain. What are you doing, Snack Master? It's gonna be my savior. That's all you're bringing. No, I'm packing two, two big guys. And I'm gonna throw my freeze dried in there. All right, well, we're just shooting and getting ready to head back up. So we're packing snacks, packing a lot of water, like a lot of water. 
hopefully it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Hopefully it's not too lightning-y, lightning-y. But we'll try to collect some water too. So that's the plan. Done. Done forever. Die. Well, we're going back up for the last final hurrah of Utah archery season. Maybe not, but we got two and a half days to get her done. We have a solid plan. Packs are still heavy. Matt's going to die because his pack is enormous. Uh, he's going to put his pack down halfway up and I'm just going to carry him up the mountain. But I don't have my bow. My antlers are hanging from my truck. They're probably going to be eaten by a cow or stolen by the time we get back. We'll see. Other than that, we're ready to rip. Camp 2.0 all set up. Now we gotta venture down, grab some water. It's not too far down over that. But here's camp. Matt, Dylan, mine. We might be killed by cows in the middle of the night. Uh, we're camping at exactly 8,000 feet. And we'll be hunting at, I don't know, 85, 84. That is up yonder way. So we're gonna get some water, chill out, then go hunting. Hopefully get on some bucks tonight. Dylan's ready to kill. Is he bringing his bow? He better be bringing his bow. Yeah. Dylan's squeezing water. Matt's using drops. And I use the stereo pen. All three methods of filtering the water. See which one of us dies first. Leave me alone. Nope. What are we doing? I don't even know. Try and kill something. It's 11 o'clock. We're gonna go creep through some burns. Dylan's gonna shoot himself a monster buck. Matt is gonna try to survive the mountain. Back up to my spot I was at last night. We give about an hour. Creep up in there. I don't really know what we're gonna do. Check out some new spots. Some new burns. Go from there. Maybe creep up in there, check them out. Tomorrow we will be still hunting all day if we can't find a buck. My feet already are mad about it. Yep. You gonna kill some deer? I hope we're gonna kill them tonight. Up yonder. Me and Don are splitting off from Matt. We're all filming. It's gonna be good. I think we got these deer figured out. Looking for lightning to strike again tonight. Doesn't look like there's any people in here. We should have these couple basins all to ourselves. Let's get it done. Thunder. 
in the desert. Oh, this is fun. We're having hail. Tons of Tailing. fun. Yeah. Hail storm. That's awesome. Got my rain jacket. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Imagine that until it's snagging more. We finally got set up, probably about 500 foot in elevation higher than we were going to. We only have an hour of daylight, it's still raining because someone's a moron. She was a hog daddy. Hog daddy. She was playing some of us. Some stalkable spots behind us. This is definitely the most comfy spot on this bed. I'm hurt. My deer died right down there. So I'm only a couple hundred yards from that. So this is the killing basin. We're climbing to the top of the world again. <sighs> Hopefully we see something tonight. Cause I don't have my flashlight to get back, so we're gonna die after this hunt. So this is the last one. And we're miles from camp now. <laughs> miles. Alright, reach to the top. in range. Also had a nice little ten forty diligent shot. Sixty six <laughs> yards. It was the size of my fingers. It was pretty tiny. It was half the size of mine. But that's gonna wrap it up. We have tomorrow, then we're headed out of here. Tomorrow I don't know what we're gonna do. Class in the morning. If we see something, we're gonna make some major moves. That's what we're gonna do. Probably just pack up. <laughs> pack up. <laughs> Go get drunk. Go to the bar. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Spanny catches a plane Saturday morning. And I'm headed to Idaho. <laughs> Dylan, what's your master plan this afternoon? Or this get morning? out of the shirt. This morning. Technically one day left. I'm gonna go up where we've been seeing all them bucks and just still hunt it. Nice and slow. 
creep up through the burns with the wind in my favor and then uh, hopefully I can get one stand up or spot one and sneak up on them. It's really the only thing we got left today. Not okay. much waiting going on. These deer aren't moving until pretty much dark. No. He's the, going, bucks, the bucks aren't at least. He's going in light, taking his bow, nail gene, that's it. If he shoots one, I'm packing him, his pack up, <laughs> packing Matt up <laughs> over there in the tent. <laughs> He's coming too. I wanted to be up there early this morning, but the goddamn wind. Yeah. It was wild. Evidence of I was scared. 80 mile an hour winds around us. It was pretty scary in the tents, but we survived. Last day. Last day. Good luck, homie. Good luck. I should say that. Good for your shit, Isaac. Had a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> Packing up camp. He wasn't could have shot himself a deer bigger than mine, but he didn't want to. Babies. Still hunting is the way to do it up here. The area that we're in at least. Every deer I bumped was first buck was 66 yards. Every other deer was under 50 and in the open. Those deer just don't, they're not expecting it and they usually get in an opening and just kind of stand there. So it worked. I just wish I did it more. We got a new strategy if we come back next year, two years, whatever we decide to do. But we're done. Utah, over with. Next stop, Idaho. Ohio. <laughs>